here's a nice group of true F1 breakers, basically color three to six year olds. This first group pastures like 25 head. There's about 225 altogether. There's several video cl clips you're about to see. I took about 10 minutes of YouTube video to attempt to analyze all the cattle. Again, the first group is the first group like 25, another group 24, 17, uh, two groups of 50, a group of 60. Uh, it's a really nice group of cattle. Again, this guy, they are the real deals. True F1 breakers. I don't know anywhere in the country where I can find 225 F1 breakers calving now. I don't know anywhere. And that's all I do. I'm a cowboy. Uh, they're in color and good flesh. You consider I videoed them yesterday, like this, January the 17th, middle of winter, and the cow, they'll still weigh 12 and a half. Uh, awesome group of functional breakers. Again, the guy, F1 breakers, the guy uses Brangus and Charlet bulls, but uses more Charlets than Brangus. So most of these calves will be, will be, I'll be Charlet sired. Tremendous group of cows. Again, I have 10 minutes of video footage you're about to see. An awesome group of F1 breakers in Northeast Texas. I'm Clayton Hobbs. Give me a shout. Have a good day. Well, this, th those black ones are probably the other. <clears throat> 23 nice group of breakfast cows. There's some of these are chocolate baldies. These are they're chocolates. There, there's one Angus cow in there. She's obviously not part of the deal. Oh, and the paint caballo. The war paint. <laughs> Oh, yeah? No? <laughs> no, I got enough caballos. Yeah, the Angus, yeah, yeah. How long has the yellow bull been with us? Yeah. Another strong group of F1 cows, or 17 cows, 17 calves in this group. Uh, this rancher has about 200 of these cattle, and we've so far I videoed a group of 23, a group of 24, and here's 17. And these are all paired out. Most of these cattle are kind of second, third calvers. They're nice F1s. These kind of cows are hard to come by. I mean, if you follow my, my YouTubes, uh, I look at cattle every day, and which another job <laughs> this way is what it is. And uh, these, you, you'll wear a transmission out trying to find this many F1 Brayfords in one deal. Good cow, good calf. This guy uses Brangus and Charlie Bulls. Again, if, if somebody's interested in bulls, he has probably 20 or so. He does sell a few Charlie Bulls here, so he does have a herd of Charlie Bulls to sell as well. So if someone pack some yellow bulls as well, you guys are here. Oh, 17 cows, 18 calves. One cow's twins, just said. Good striped cows though. It's kind of these cattle kind of weigh 12. Big four of these nice Brayford cows out here. Bunch of babies on them. Black and yellow babies. Again, there's Charlay or Brangus Sire. I'm gonna put this group together with several of the video clips. This rancher has one group of 23, one group of 24, and then a group of 17 we saw a while ago. But I'll, I'll probably include this all in the same YouTube video. This group is a group of 54, 54, and lots of nice babies. The rancher puts in a rider what month she's gonna calve. So if she has a one, she's going to calve in January, of course, two, February, three, March, so forth. Most of these cattle will be calved out by March. Got good cattle, good ranchers, good hand. I mean, these are all Brayford boys and girls, all Brayford. This rancher is a cow boy. There's always cattle weight 12 and a half throughout the whole deal, I would say. 
it's middle of winter. Obviously, you can get them home, put them on some green. They can be fatter. But they're in good flesh. Even though it's winter, they'll still weigh 12 and a half. Woo! A lot of that boys in the south watch my videos. I love Alabama, Florida boys. Woo! Love these. Pretty place, too, isn't it? Another very nice group of these young F1 cows. So far we've seen, this is the fourth group, fifth group, I'm sorry. Group of 23, group of 24, group of 17, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, 23, 24, 17, 54, and I'm not sure how many in this group looks about. 40, 40 to 50 in this group looks like. Gentle cows, again, the same tagging situation if she According to Munchie, you didn't hear like the princess, the one on the right there is uh, she had a baby in November, number one, January. So it's she's one, two, three. It's it's January, February, March, so fourth month, of course, April. Or some of these are 12, so it can be December. The Charlie Bulls stay with them, so obviously with the older cats could be bred back. Cat does use some nice Charlie Bulls. These are the real deals, boys and girls. These are hard to come by. Again, I travel all over, look for good cattle. And these are the real deal. If you're interested in cattle, call me, call me soon because you're getting this video. Several hundred other people are as well. A few chocolates, but most of these are Tiger Baldies. That does use good Charlotte Bulls. It's winter time. They were working clothes. They still look good. Imagine you got some grass this spring or summer. Whew. Again, we got this place got four inch rain last week, and down south got rain. And second week of June, January, I assure you, this is cow market's about to get crazy high. So if you're looking for cattle, own them now. There's lots of hay around. If you're in Texas or anywhere in the south, there's lots of hay around. You can hay these cattle for a while until your green grass comes up. So I assure you, when everybody has green grass, whew. Man, it's gonna be a crazy hot market. Babies, cattle calving daily. These cattle kind of look like these. Most of these are kind of second, third calves here. Fun. These are second calves, huh? Good F1. Nice cow getting her 66 head in this deal. Uh, we've already seen a group of a group of 23, uh, 23, 24, 17, a group of 54, then another group of of 55. And this is 66. So the ranger has about 220 of these. For the most part, all tiger stripe baldies. They are cookie cutter, cookie cutter, cookie cutter peas in the pot, boys and girls. He uses. Black and uh, Charlay, the brangiest bulls. Most of the bulls have been turned over Charlays. Uh, cattle calving left and right. The whole deal is, I mean, should, most of these cattle should be calved. You know, by April, everything should be calved out. These were palpated in November, so that's all the palpate data. Woo! They're good ones. I mean, these kind of girls, if you're looking for cattle, you would like these kind, you better own them now because another two months, when everyone has green grass, you won't be able to touch them. Not just saying it as a broker, but as a cattleman. Did everyone here in Texas, eastern part of Texas, Louisiana, uh, eastern states have gotten rain. Typically, my client base like these from my eastern states. Even my guys out west, Arizona's even getting rain, and California's been getting rain. So these kind of girls are hard to come by, but I assure you, they're easy to sell. 
I've looked at for, for about 200 of these girls, this rancher has, and they average about 12 and a half. So they're in good flesh, even though we're in the dead of our proverbial winter. Woo! All these here should be bred. Uh, these are having Charlotte, but this group's all bred Charlotte, not mistaken, all bred Charlotte, even 66 head in this deal. Woo! Most of these are threes and fours. I will have them, again, I'll have several, several segments on YouTube, but then I'll splice them together one. So if you get a, a video of about six minutes, it's this deal, but itself is a segment. So this is video will probably be two minutes long here. So I'll, I'll put them all together. Woo! True F1 breakers here in Northeast Texas. <laughs>